I'm back. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up where we left off. The Lady in Red. <laughs> this thing is something else. Is that the barber? Ah, thank you. Everything in order? Yes. So basically, they're setting a room for Ali Say to, uh, to rest stuff in. Face that he made. Waiting. Nice. Well, what do you think? I know it's a bit old fashioned, but in a traditional sort of way, Ida wore it whenever she could. Not that I'm pretending to be her or anything. Not again. It's just. If this is the last battle we fight to free Alamigo, then she ought to be a part of it. It suits you. It's nice of you to say so. And a bit embarrassing. But mostly nice. <laughs> sure. Anyway, the real reason I asked you here was to sneak in a warm-up before the final battle. There's this place I know where monks used to spar as part of their training. Care to join me? Sure. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. Is it in the hand? Oh my god, it is. What? That's probably kind of cool. Cheek to cheek. <laughs> Speak with Alphano. 
All right. Now we have to go back over here. Okay. And that works out because we'll have to hand in the uh, quest with Sagar anyways. Um, and then we can go to the next area. I think the quickest route is by going all the way up here and around and then back down. Because we can't go this way because I think it's only it goes, it drops down. So. That's fine though, because technically, at least for this area, it'll be our last long trip for this area. Because once we hand in this quest, then we'll be able to fly. I just hope that we can go through this door, actually. Well, we have to be able to, right? It's on the other side of this anyways. So... I actually kind of don't really like this mount a whole lot, so I think I'm going to disable it. I keep getting it too often compared to the other ones, too. There's the neck breaker again. Almost there. We can fly. Beautiful. How beautiful. What a ch game changer. Journey to the locks. Here we go. I remember my father's words. How of course, there's some lightning in my ears right in the front. As we left Castra Mabania behind, 
and looked out over the locks before us. Comrades brave and true, they had come from all across Eorzea to stand with us, to stand against oppression and tyranny. Twenty years the Empire had ruled us, but no longer. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. Ere we begin, I would say to you as a proud son of Alamigo that I am grateful to each and every one of you for your part in this endeavor. Now, to the heart of the matter. The enemy appears content to remain within the city walls and await the inevitable siege. Open conflict has been sporadic thus far. Whether Xenos is biding his time until reinforcements arrive, or attempting to bait us into a trap, none can say. We know better than to trust his word. Regardless, we can ill afford to present Garlemald with a chance to ready her legions. It would be in our best interest to press for a swift resolution. A long siege wouldn't be good for the people in the city either. If food becomes scarce, you know who'll starve first. Just so. Therefore, I propose we commit our forces to an all-out assault. What say you? Aye. It would seem we are of one mind. Then let us proceed to the how of it. The Immortal Flames will form the Vanguard, supported by the Archers and the Conjurers of the Order of the Twin Adder, under the Elder Seedseer's command. Once the main host has cleared a path to the walls, we will bring forward the artillery of the Maelstrom and the Temple Knights. I would have your cannons pound the gates and punch a hole right through the middle of their defenses. What about the resistance? Your part will be to occupy the residential district and keep civilians out of harm's way. The people are more like to trust their own. Of course. You can count on us. Remember that there is a second entrance to the city proper there. If all goes to plan, we will have secured two points of entry. Once both objectives are complete, we press on into the city, surround the palace, and hunt down Xenos. As for the science, you will be held in reserve as an irregular unit until we have more intelligence on your captured comrade. Kryle's rescue will be your primary concern. But I dare say we'll find a use for you once her freedom has been secured. Thank you, General. I pray we find her quickly. Ralga's beacon nears its end. Soon, my friends, Alamigo will be ours once more.
Let's do it. The key to victory. How many more quests do we got? Right here. One, two, three, four, five. Five quests left. Oh man. good so far this area looks like it's gonna be huge oh my god and there's of course there's only one aetherite in the bot at top left and then one in the bottom right actually middle left and then one in the bottom right Obsidian Carbuncle. Oh wait, that's his. <laughs> I thought I was gonna check it for clues. <laughs> Unless if I am. There has to be a clue somewhere around here. Masonry. Grabbed all the ones over there. Shoot. Where could it be? There was like three or four right here, but I searched them all. Go to the left. Right, let's follow this. There's Thancred. Nothing there. Ah, we are peace. Interesting. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we alerted them all.
through with you. Trying to keep uh, Whiskar alive. There it is. Now we got a big boy. Legion Colossus. diary search for more clues wait are they saying I'll lead the way Where am I leading the way to? Head for the Sally Ma Manstery. Sally Manstery, uh, bottom right, yeah. There's just a lot of openness. Um, this go the correct way? I guess. I would hope if it was in the correct way, it wouldn't let me go through this way. Looks like we can go back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, it looks like we can go through this alley, but nope. be the correct way. Yep, that's it. 
What the heck? Just have to go through him. Wait, there is a way around right here. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no. It's like fighting Gorilla Grodd over here. around survey the area nice crazy how good this armor has been every single quest that i've been getting hasn't gave me better stuff surprising okay so we cleared out this area uh the resonant Got four quests left. Almost there. Looks like there's two, uh, probably flying, no, uh, Aether Current quests up at the, uh, up top here. Do I, do I even have it tuned? Like, did we attune to it? No, we didn't, of course. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, we should always attune chat. Always attune first thing. Because the only way around it is going to be going all the way if I go to the last area. Is there a to go underneath? Hmm? Does this go underneath? Okay, <laughs> there she is.
Oh, maybe that's where this aether current is too, or the aetherite. That is such a cool, like, feature to have. I love that. Indeed, all set. All set as I can be, at least. Stay close and quiet. Got a high chat. Snore. Oh, pleasant dreams. Head to the facility. Liberty or death. Wait, what? They all just walked over that casually.
They know we're coming. Make ready, my friends. Use the Aetheric Siphon to weaken her in battle. Alright, let's do this. Defeat Fordola Rem Lupus. I can read your every move! Say hello to my real friend, Mohammed. going I wasn't expecting the uh, ability to pop up so often. I'll to pieces. I love these abilities because I can actually use them while walking and moving around. Let's finish this! If only you knew the power! Only you knew the power. Whoa. What just happened? Huh? Her health just went from being like decent to all the way down. I will not! 
Oh, but you will. Without your tricks, you're nothing. Conrad, Mefrit, your own comrades! I should kill you here and now for what you did! But there's no place for that kind of justice here. Not in my Alamigo. Oh, how very bloody noble of you. <sighs> or you'll pardon me my sins, will you? After you and your freedom fighters come and tear down everything we've worked so hard to build, we were fighting for our people's freedom. God damn. You're slaves to a tyrant. There's no freedom in that. Now, my friend! Touching as this moment is, it will have to wait. We should rejoin the main force at once. Lise! I'm taking her back with us, alive. She's going to answer for what she's done. <laughs> Listen to you, talking like you've already won. Xenos is gonna tear you apart. He commands a power, echoing that of the Icons. What are you talking about? The Hunt, you stupid cow. I'm talking about the Hunt. He said you'd come, and here you are, his willing prey. You and your friends are dead, just like mine. And all our misery, all our sacrifice. It was all for naught! No. You're gonna live long enough to see us win our freedom. I promise you that. May I live a thousand years. Interrogations can wait. Let us be off. Finally took her down. All right. Mount speed has increased. The legacy are of our fathers. We go attuned to this. This area seems pretty cool. Oh, nice. Aether Kern. How many Aether Currents are in this area? Uh, four. And then there's four quests.
I didn't even talk to that chocobo at the other location. <sighs> so dumb. Oh, we hit 73. Now we gotta go back there. Alright, well, we gotta do it anyway, so let's make our way back uh, and then speak with Robon and make sure that we attune to the Aether right there. Looks like going this way should work. But this looks different now. There's like snow everywhere. grab the chocobo thing right here. Good. I'll pick up these two because they're going to be aether currents most likely. Yep, there's one. Second one. to the eighth right. The heroes of the hour. Not content with securing the residential district, you gifted me an Imperial commander. What are you after, a medal? The work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? 
Might she speak of our missing Omega? Very possibly. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? None. The search goes on in earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing of note. Mayhap the Galleons beat us to it. If they were working desperately to repair the machine, that might explain their decision to remain within their walls. Ah, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just discussing the Pilus' claims. About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Kryle. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. Though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled. There are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue a test subject with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. So that's how Fordola improved so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. If it weren't for Orianja's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception, I do assure thee. Oh, you have got to stop doing that. In calling upon Lady Alizé after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. Twas as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. A most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. How then could she so perfectly predict an unknown opponent's every move? After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my lady Alizé's soul. Wait, have you not just described a manifestation of the Echo? I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and twas this which led me to develop my stratagem. I would fashion a device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether. If, as I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations, the shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. How ingenious. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose, lest Fordola divine your intent. Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, twas a most fortuitous outcome. That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Arianje is correct, that would mean these Resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. 
A sobering thought, to say the least. And one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must. For there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing. Honestly, right now, I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. Victory is as good as ours. Exactly. Oh, I wouldn't <laughs> want to be in Xenos' boots. Not with the likes of us coming to get him. Right, I'd best get back to the residential district. Thancred and the resistance forces are waiting. It is time we join the main host. Kryle, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. Just this once. One second, chat. Okay. The song's so good. Spoke with both of them. Go back, speak with Robon. Think it's almost time. We're so close. We're very, very close. Measure of his reach. Try to knock out these quests real quick. Oh, 
this a flying one too? It is. <laughs> we might have all the flying ones right now. We'll do this ill-tempered one. All the, uh, oh wait, I need to find that aether current too. There it is. So if we check this, uh, one, two, how many quests? Uh, one, two, three, four. I have four quests. So we'll only need one more and then two more Aether Currents out in the open somewhere to be able to have all these. This twice. How many of these do I need? Yabby. Ah, uh, shoot. I need to use this thing once it's weakened. Let's try now. That's one. One more over there. Alright, so now we need to go up to Lock Cell, and then there's two other objectives up there too. I think we're we might be kinda close to an aether current. And it looks like it's probably closer to the objective, so I'll keep going north for now. There's probably another one like up in this area somewhere. Looks like it's two things. If I were a fish, right here. the Imperial secret I'm gonna be in the water yo bad what the heck some of the enemies in this game make me think of uh, like Pokemon there. Aerial material. All 
All right, now we need to go uh, deliver it to him. The flame agent. Can report back to them once we get back. Okay, so to the next one. Uh, slay the zoo nest. that one is that thing still following me oh my No way, bro. I'm about to die. Please. Whew. That was way too close. I did not like that. No, 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 no. Okay. That looks kind of cool, whatever that is over there. Uh, shoot. We're gonna need to play this safe because there's kind of a lot of enemies out there. Ah, uh, this one should be okay. Let me heal up for a second. So we need to get inside of there. kill this thing real quick I don't know if we're gonna be able to it looks like you might have to be on the other side like on up here to be able to get to that it kind of looks similar to the last time I had to do one of these like where you can only drop down and you can't go up so you might have to be like around here to do that. Um, that's fine, I think. I mean, unless if I'm like really that close to it. Hold on, let me see if I, if I go around this way. Worst case, I just fast travel back where we came from. I don't know, I just feel like we're gonna have to go really high up. Well, I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> Hi, 
570 or yeah 570 to the south okay there's one actually not too far 666 to the south <laughs> What is this one gonna be? Oh, uh, just defeat the specter. Nice. How many of those do we need to beat? Ah, uh, four of them. Spooky area. That's two. I see that there's one outside there. Also one right here. And uh, there's one right there too. Even though if I didn't run through all three of these yet, I feel like I should still call Bahamut if he's available because he does so much damage. So I'm going to move some of these down a little bit, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to swap it like that. Okay, I'm just reading these real quick. And then, yeah, so we'll do like summon Bahamut, then we'll do Astral Flow. And then, uh, in Kindle. Right? I think that looks good. Then we can do three, four, five. Okay. Those are all good there. Um, whoops, wrong button. Southwest. Yeah, that's over here. I, I'm pretty sure there's an aether current right there. All right, let me go over here again. Go back to the uh, this area, hand in these three. Uh, no, four. four aether current quests and then we'll only have one more uh or well two more in the area to find and then also uh what else two in the area to find and i think two quests maybe or maybe one quest And in one more. There it is. Uh, so yeah, we only have one more quest to out in the wild Aether Currents to find. Okay, I think we're ready to go for his reach because right now I do not see any. 
Um, and yeah, the final quest gives you an Aether Current anyways, so... Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom chat, so I'll be right back, then we'll jump in.